Hey, what's up, family? It's your boy, Brother Mike, host of the Black Body Man radio show. And if you are watching this video, then that means the holiday has passed and you have now entered the gray zone. <laughs> what is the gray zone? The gray zone is the area of December 26th through January 1st. So this is a, a kind of a gray area where we figure out uh, if we're going to make New Year's resolutions, if we're going to party to, figure, to end out the rest of the year. You know, you go through the motions of who you're going to be around, how you're going to bring this new year in. And most of the time we get into setting New Year's resolutions that never work. So today on this video, I'm going to show you how to make this year the best year yet to come with a five-step process. That's right. You cannot go into this new year with the same old, ah, I'm going to make a New Year's resolution. Right. Yeah. Like we all make those and nobody keeps them. Right. So I got something better for you. I'm going to show you how to make this the best new year yet. And it's a five step process. So let's just get right into it. I don't want to make this video long. You guys got things to do. Right. All right. So in this five step process, um, what we're trying to do is eliminate setting unrealistic goals with um New Year's resolutions and, you know, all the things that you claim you're not going to do. I claim I'm not going to do. We claim we're not going to do. But, you know, most of the time it doesn't always work out. Like when people have New Year's resolutions, everybody thinks like, oh, okay, yeah, good luck with that, right? Like you're going to go to the gym. You're going to eat healthy. Uh, you're going to stop being violent. I don't know. You're going to stop having a poor attitude towards life. I don't know. But either way, we start off with these resolutions. So this year I'm giving you something a little different. I'm going to show you how to make this new year the best new year yet with a five-step process. So let's start with number one. So number one, I need you to recognize. That's right. The word is recognize. What do I want you to recognize? Well, I want you to recognize that even though you have some things you want to do different for the upcoming next 12 months, there were some W's in this past 12 months, right? There were some W's, right? You, you, you got, you, you know, you, you got some W's, right? We, we, we had a few little wins, right? So I want you to recognize those areas that you had wins at, right? What was you doing at that particular time when you had that win? What was your mindset? Who were the people you were around? What were you dealing with in life at that particular time? So I want you to recognize that it wasn't a complete situation of, I didn't do the things that I said I was gonna do coming into 2019, coming off of 2018. No, you had some W's. So I want you to recognize some of them W's and celebrate that. So if you are going to celebrate at the end of this year, what I want you to celebrate is those wins that you had. You did have a few wins and you deserve to celebrate those wins, right? You had a few wins. So definitely make sure you recognize that and celebrate that. All right. So when you reflect on your wins, you know that it was some part of the year that you did okay, right? Some of the things that you set forward to get done, you actually get done. So that's part one, recognizing what you can actually celebrate. Don't celebrate the things that you didn't do. Celebrate the things that you did. Reflect on it. Reflect on your state of mind at that particular time because that is very important in order to tap back into that. You know, you got to know what, what was I thinking at that time? What was my attitude that had things going in the right direction for me? So number two, I want you to reflect. Yes, first recognize, then reflect. Okay, what are you going to reflect on? I want you to reflect on the lessons that you learned in 2019. And I want you to pick the top three lessons from 2019 that you can reflect on. And I want you to take those lessons with you into 2020. What were you doing when you learned those life lessons? What was your attitude at that time? Who were the people you were around? What was your mindset? So again, first you're going to recognize <clears throat> excuse me then second you're going to reflect reflect on the life lessons what was going on in your life at that particular time where you ended up learning a life lesson take that lesson with you take it into 2020 2020 can be your year it will be your year but it's going to take some steps to do things different not just a new year's resolution so you want to figure out what were the top three lessons that you learned you want to bring them with you um when you're doing this, you're actually using the past 12 months as an education, right? You'll use it as an education, and education will help give you awareness of your actions. See, so when you reflect on it, it serves as an education, and then that education helps to bring you awareness, right? With better awareness, you can make better choices. 
Let me say that again. With better awareness, you can make better choices. So when you look at the past 12 months of 2019 and you use the life lessons that were taught to you, say if you take the top three like we mentioned, and then you look at that and it gives you that awareness so you know what not to do come in 2020. So again, this is all going to add to you having this great year in 2020. First, you have to recognize. Then you have to reflect. And part of that reflection is looking at life lessons. Now, we have to face the reality that we all learned some lessons in 2019. Yes, you got a couple W's. You got a couple victories. I had a couple victories. But I also had a few lessons. So I want to take those lessons with me into 2020 to reassure that 2020 is going to be a great year. So that's number two. Number three, clarify. What are we clarifying? I want you to clarify what you need to have happen this year. What are your big three for this year? I want you to think of three things that must happen for 2020, that must happen to reassure that you're going to have a great year. So these three things, it just has to go down. It's been things you've been wanting to do, short-term goals, uh, things you want to uh, get involved with, things you want to try, whatever the scenario may be. But you think of three things that has to happen between January 1 of 2020 and December 31st of 2020. Now, once you think of those three things, I want you to write them down. <clears throat> I want you to write them down. Excuse me, everybody, I'm a little under the weather. <clears throat> I want you to write them down and place them in an area where you can see them at will. Rather you're seeing it daily every day or rather it's just every two days because it's somewhere at your job, in your bedroom, on your back of your phone, inside your car. I don't know, but I want you to write these three things down so you can see them all the time and it will help to give you clarity. Remember, we already gained awareness, right? We gained awareness by reflecting on the 12 months. So now we need clarity on what we want to come forward for the next 12 months. So when you write these things down, you come across it every day, you keep it in your, uh, for lack of better words, it stays in your news feed right? <laughs> keep this in your news feed. And that's how you keep it in your mental news feed. That's what I'm referring to. You keep it in your mental news feed by having it written down somewhere. After you get that written down, I want you to get clarity on your top three values. What do you value the most? Now, when I say values, we're talking about everything from relationships to media, to health, to freedom, to beauty, friendships, love, so forth and so on, family, what do you value? What are the top three values of the next 12 months? You must know your value. If you don't know your value, you will live someone else's value, such as the media. So if you're not clear on your value and what you're worth, then you're going to take on the value of someone else. And, and it's happening a lot within our society, especially within social media. Um, the norms are really being raised as what's being viewed as norm. So you want to make sure you understand your values. Take your time. Think about what your values are, right, for the next 12 months. Because knowing your values will fit hand in hand with your awareness. Um, and within those values, you can set goals. Maybe your goals aren't all financial. Like most of the time, I think when we think about goals, we tend to think about finances. But sometimes people's goals are not finance. Maybe your goal is to have a better relationship with family. Maybe your goal is to have a better relationship with friends. Maybe your goal is to chop your circle a little bit, you know, kind of prune your circle and uh, get some people out of your circle that you feel the energy's not correct and bring in some new people that bring in some fresh new energy that fits your goals, your dreams. And speaking of goals, that's going to be on the list too. You need to write down at least 10 goals. Now, be realistic with your goals. See, this is what happens with goals. We write down goals that may not be so realistic at that particular time. So when you write down these goals, I want you to make sure you stay realistic about your goals. Short goals. Short goals get the job done because that's what leads to the bigger goals. All right, so you with me so far. So for 2020, in order to make this the best year yet to come, we're already up to the three things you got to do. You have to reflect. You have to recognize. I'm sorry. First, you recognize. Then you reflect. And then you have to clarify. So what's next after clarify? All right, so let's move on to number four. I got my handy dandy sheet here so I don't forget anything for y'all. All right, so number four is you have to create. So number four is create. What are you creating? Well, we just spoke about goals. So you're creating goals, right? So you're going to be creating goals. You need to have at least 10 goals that are realistic and you need to make sure that you put forth the effort 
to get these goals done. Get yourself around the people who can help you achieve these goals. Stop surrounding yourself with people who don't believe in you, don't believe in your dream, and you know they're energy vampires. You know that they kind of suck the great energy out of you that you are bringing forth. You know, like Brother Mike, I try to bring forth great energy. I try to make these videos and give you guys good energy because it's actually what I'm feeling. And this is the audience I want to tap into and I want you guys to feel that energy as it radiates out through YouTube and Facebook and all the social media outlets. But yeah, you you you, you might even want to, you know, prune your circle a little bit. Like I mentioned earlier, get yourself around some people who can help you grow. But in but you have to create. OK, so you have to create. And through this creation, you're going to create goals. Um Create a month-to-month -month plan. So take these goals, keep them realistic, and each month you need to knock one of them off. So don't let January pass you by and say, oh, I'm, I'm going to get started in February. Uh-uh. You've already missed 30 days. Remember, have a goal that gets accomplished for each month of your planning. So if you got 10 goals that's planned out for 10 months and you need to push hard to accomplish these goals, remember, the exact definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. The exact definition. So if you want to be this different person in 2020 and you want all these different things to happen to you, from your finances to your attitude to your relationships to your family, you are going to have to do some things different and creating is going to be one of them. Create your month-to-month -month plan. Create your goals and get started. Small goals are just as good as large goals. All right, coming in at number five, and this is a big one. Number five is envision. Envision. What does envision mean? Well, it's simple. It's visualize. Close your eyes and visualize how your life will look when you begin to achieve those small goals. Excuse me a second, y'all. Let me. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this is nice in here. Come on in, the water is warm. So you have to visualize. You have to visualize the things that you want to happen. So I'll give you an example. So let's say one of your goals is you want to drop 20 pounds. Well, you have to already start seeing yourself wearing two sizes smaller, three sizes smaller, whatever your 20 pounds is going to do. You have to start actually visualizing yourself looking that way. And this is what's going to help the universe make all of this come together for you so that you can uh, have this become a reality. You got to be able to vision it. You have to be a dreamer. You have to envision. One of the ways you can do it is through meditation. You can do it through positive affirmations. It's quite a few different ways to do it. But either way, you have to do it. You have to dream about it. You have to vision it. You have to see yourself. Being that boss that you know that you are deep inside. You have to see yourself being that leader. You have to see yourself being that trendsetter. And when you begin to believe it and you see it, it's going to radiate out to everybody else and they're going to accept it and believe it as well. So make sure when you dream, you're dreaming in color, you have the proper clarity. You see the color of the car. You see the house. You see the relationship status. You see the, 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 the politeness that's going on amongst family and friends. You have to vision all that. If you can do these things, which are very, very doable, keep focus on your vision and your goals, you will experience the bliss of achieving the satisfaction of knowing that you are in control of your life and that you have taken complete control of your life. It is the most beautiful thing ever. I'm still a work in progress myself, but I can tell you that the progress that I've made it, it's, it's changed a lot of things. It opens doors up. It makes you realize it is possible for you to be the person you want to be and achieve the goals you want to achieve. So that's it in a nutshell. This is how you are going to make this new year the best new year yet with your five-step plan. Recognize, reflect, create, clarify, envision. Okay, And actually, I said those two in the wrong order. Recognize, reflect, clarify first, create, then envision. So these are the five steps. Make sure you rewind this video. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button for the Black by the Man channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you can get notified every time we produce new video content. And this has been the Black by the Man uh, Brother Mike experience. It's actually the Brother Mike experience, not the Black by the Man experience. This has been the Brother Mike experience. We're going to be coming at you with more videos like this. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And remember, 2020, you are in control. You need a plan, not a resolution. 
Start with the five steps. Recognize, reflect, clarify, create, envision. It's your boy, Brother Mike. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.